Hey guys, this is John and Jackie of OpenLove101.com. Welcome to our show. Before we get started, be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel here. Click the blue bell and you'll be notified of our upcoming videos. Also, if you would sign up to OpenLove101.com, give us your email address and we'll notify you of upcoming videos, blogs, things we might have going on, Jackie's articles, they're always great. Be sure and check it out. <laughs> We did a webinar recently through our membership only side of things. And so if you decide you want to see some of uh, our, our webinars there, you can sign up for that. And we had a comment afterwards. This was an open forum where people submitted their questions and they asked questions during the live webinar. And most of them had to Which do... Which was fun, by the way. Oh, it was a great it time. It was super fun. You know, just kind of this cornucopia of questions from people like, they're burning questions. <laughs> and a lot of them dealt with the emotional side Whew. of swinging, right? It, it did. It how did. to deal with jealousy and... Fears and <laughs> play and I don't know. And we ended up getting, I don't know if it was, a, it was a constructive comment. It was, it in, really was. On our, on our membership portal from someone saying that, why don't you guys talk about the fun side of swinging? It's not all about... Like the deep these, emotional, <laughs> the struggles and the trials and tribulations, and and so that's what we're here today to talk about because swinging can be fun as it well. Is. It is fun, and there's a lot of couples that, when it comes to this to, to swinging, they're really only in it for the enjoyment. Yeah, the sexual aspect of it and kissing right, and the things enhancement like. to the relationship. Yeah. Absolutely. A lot of people that come to our clubs, that's what they're into. They're not necessarily coming out there to meet a couple that they want to go out to have dinner with. They just want to like, "Oh my gosh, let's just hook up with that couple over there." Right. And uh, I mean, there's <laughs> it it can really be an enhancement to the relationship. I mean, it just really is. When you when you stop and think about any time you meet somebody new, just the excitement of that you know those stories that you've told about yourself five billion times that your partner's like, I don't, I don't know that anymore. <laughs> or your friends that you've had for years, you know, they know all of that about you. When you meet someone new, you know, they don't know anything about you. So you kind of get to tell all those fun stories and That's true. memories and you just get to talk about just like who you are, who they are, just that whole introduction thing. There's a lot of positive energy that goes into that and it really builds on itself. And what makes it so great about when you're in a consensually non-monogamous relationship is there gets to be some expansion to that. Mm -hmm. Not just the conversation, but there can be, you know, there, there, there can be that touch on somebody's leg or, you know, that lean into them. And it's perfectly okay because you and your partner have discussed this. Yeah. And this is something that you both want to entertain. It's something that you want to do. It's, it's uh, something that you get to do together. It is a way to enhance your relationship when you leave a club or when you leave a party or, you know, after, after the fact, it's something that the two of you can discuss. It's a way to expand you know, not only who you are as a person, because you're getting to meet someone new, but it also can be an expansion to your sexuality. No doubt about that. <laughs> and, and let me cut you off there real quick. You mentioned something about meeting somebody and being able to tell the stories that, that you've already told me. Yeah. I love hearing those stories anyway. <laughs> Aww. So you can tell me those stories anytime. <laughs> hearing about your past and the experiences you've had over and over again, it does not ever bore me. So Aww, that's a good answer. <laughs> <laughs> but absolutely, when you at the club, just having sex with people can be fun too. You meet a couple that you really enjoy being with, right. and then to take them into the back, you know, the little nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. And you head on back there and have a great time, and then to share that experience afterward on the way home, like how much fun you had, what maybe they were doing a little bit differently, that can be a, a great time as well. You know, and I think back to when you and I were first in the lifestyle and that trepidation that I went through on and off when we were very first playing because it was just like so outside the box. But what I learned from those experiences was letting go. It, it has a lot to do with letting go of like even just your own stigma so that you can just enjoy what's taking place. You know, sometimes we have to just kind of close our eyes, you know, lean our head back and just enjoy the moment. 
it's, it's a kind of about being in that flow. We're not thinking about the past. We're not thinking about the future. No. We're just right there, right then. And just allowing ourselves, giving ourselves permission to just really be in that moment. And those are kind of restorative, you know, just <laughs> for everybody. Because you're just like, wow, I just got to do this <laughs> thing and it was exciting. Yeah. I mean, there can be some, some, you know, there can be a little bit of, anxiety and again this can happen if we're thinking too much but if we translate that anxiety into something maybe more from a, an excitement standpoint because those are really they run almost parallel with how it makes us feel yeah. so if we can kind of tap into that excitement side of us and just have fun have fun at the club or even like you said you can just have fun go to dinner with another couple and just experience all the newness of it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, it was actually, it was a really great point that this person brought up about, you know, sometimes it is just about being in that moment, just really enjoying what you're doing and giving yourself permission to enjoy it as well. Um, giving your partner permission to enjoy it, talking about it. And that, that's something else too. It's something that has came up recently in one of our coaching sessions. And by the way, if you're struggling with anything or you just want to learn more about clubs or, you know, or, or maybe how to meet other couples, whatever it is, it has to do with a lifestyle or relationships, go to openlove101.com backslash coaching and you'll find a link to uh, maybe set up a preliminary conversation with one of our uh, partners and we can then work towards meeting you one-on-one -on, -one on on Zoom and or in person. And helping you through that. Yeah, and, and we'll just share more details about our experience and how it's helped us. Right. Um, but what came up in that in a session we had recently was about how to to be able to admit to your partner that you had a good time. I know. And if you can, if you can get past that, oh my gosh, it, it really can yeah. it, it, it enhance your, your fun time when you're having sex with someone else. It, it, for sure, no doubt about it. And then it, you know, this, this is going to sound surprising to those people that are maybe new or considering, you know, coming to a club or entering into consensual non-monogamy. Engaging with other people really does enhance the relationship that you have with your partner, because you're doing something different with someone that then you can talk to your partner about. Mm -hmm. And everybody's excited for everybody else. And again, it's that kind of positive energy that builds on itself. Yeah. And it creates just a, just this great platform for even more positive energy. No doubt about it. So, so to close, just have fun when you're swinging. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if you would also follow us on Instagram at openlove101.com. Actually, no, it's Instagram backslash openlove101, I guess. Whatever. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, sign up for our email list at openlove101.com. And hopefully we'll see you guys soon. See, see ya. ya. So if you like that video, subscribe below and you'll be guaranteed to get lots of sex for the rest of your life.